What's up, beautiful people? It's your cousin Rich back again. I got an issue. A big old issue. My issue is... I get upset. I get angry. It hurts my heart. When people lie to themselves. Not necessarily lie to me when they lie to themselves. Yo, cousin, what you mean by when people lie to themselves? I'm going to tell you. When people lie to themselves that they're not good enough. When people lie to themselves that they're not worthy. When people lie to themselves that other people are better than them. You know, these false narratives that we tell ourselves. Due to projections or other things that people have placed on us or just the lack of self-confidence that we've had, sometimes not to our own doing, sometimes just due to the environment that's around us that's put us in these positions. So therefore for us, instead of us going towards what we really want or really believing in ourselves for who we really are, what do we do? We lie to ourselves. We replay these false narratives over and over and over and over to comfort ourselves for the reason why we're not where we want to be or having what we want to have or at least attempting to get there. Knowing your name is all written all on it. But we lie to ourselves to comfort ourselves. We lie to ourselves to make ourselves feel good. Because it's easier to feel good and comfort ourselves in the lies we continuously tell ourselves to hop out and be uncomfortable for a little bit to raise ourselves to a new plateau. I've lied to myself before. But do you know how much that holds you back? Even imagining you, you in a situation where you lying to yourself to make it work. You probably with somebody right now, you lying to yourself to make it work. Oh, this person going to change. You know good and goddamn well that person ain't going to change. Oh, this person love me. You know good and goddamn well that person don't love you. Abuse ain't love. Abuse ain't love, baby. Oh, this job going to give me a raise. You know good and well. This job don't care. Zero about you. Nothing about you. Well, I'm going to go to the gym with X. You lying to yourself because it makes you feel good. Like I say, sometimes we do these things as a defense mechanism for us to really face the deeper problems, the deeper issues. And this isn't to beat up on anybody or anything like that. It's more so just to realize. Like I say, sometimes I have to look at myself in the mirror and to tell myself, Rich, stop lying to yourself. So I come up off my own bullshit. That's your real. That's your real deal. Imagine the life we could live or imagine the life that we, yeah, imagine the life that we could live if we stopped lying to ourselves. You'd be in a whole different place right now. Imagine the love that you could have surrounding you if you stopped lying to yourself. Perfect partner, the perfect job, the perfect life, everything. Well, perfect according to how perfect things can be, but you know what I'm saying. The best outcome for you, for you. That can all come once you stop lying to yourself. Like I said, that you're not good enough. You're not strong enough. You're not pretty enough. You're not handsome enough. You're not lovable. That's a big one. 
People lie to themselves all the time. Oh, I'm not lovable. Due to the circumstances that they've been around. Due to the fucked up people that they grew up with. Because them people didn't know how to show love or didn't know how to love properly. Or they projected their insecurities upon you. And now you feel like this is your right to be unloved or unlovable. Get that false narrative out your head. Because the more and more that we tell ourselves these false narratives is the more and more and more that it goes into the universe and becomes true. That's really one of the first number one reasons why we need to stop lying to ourselves. Because the universe don't know if it's a lie or if it's the truth. So the more and more and more that you continuously lie to yourself, the universe is going to be like, oh, it might be true. Oh, this person, you you saying that you're unlovable? Okay, bet. Well, shit, you just going to be an unlovable motherfucker then. Be careful of the false narratives that you spill. Be careful of the lies that you tell yourself. Does it have a good way of coming back? Imagine if you start telling yourself the truth. Thank you, thank you. Imagine if you started telling yourself the truth and then it started coming true. I'm gonna put it like this. Imagine if you were a little bit overweight or not even overweight, you just wanna get your health in check. Instead of just telling yourself, I'm going to the gym this day, this day, this day, this day, this day. Or I'm gonna start this day, I'm gonna start Monday. I'm gonna start New Year's. Just stop saying that. And just be real. And just tell yourself, I need to get my health in check. That's it. Then once you tell yourself that, boom, now it starts working. The magic starts working. Because now that you already told yourself the truth, you stop lying to yourself. Now you say, okay, I need to get my health in check. Now it's, it, it's, it's, it's in the universe. So now you might start picking just little options, better options, just here and there. Don't mean everything going to change right now, but just here and there. Boom, this option changed, this option changed. Instead of eating all the fries, you might eat half the fries. Instead of getting a... a, a a Sprite with no ice, you get a Sprite with heavy ice. So now it's less in the container, you know what I'm saying? So you still get to enjoy your Sprite. But instead of getting 20 ounces, you only get like 14, 16. You know, so that four ounces, just little by little. Do you get what I'm saying? If you stop telling yourself you're not lovable, or you only attract, you know, karmics and all this shit. If you start telling yourself, I am lovable. Number one thing is your head going to go from down here to up here. Your chest gonna go from down here to up here. Your shoulders gonna go from over here like that. Is you gonna exude some off you where people gonna be like, damn, who, who are you? I wanna want know you. It seems like you got all the juice. Hello, how you doing? Let me talk to you real quick. That what gonna happen, I'm telling you. Real talk, real spiel, I'm telling you. Be careful of the narratives that you tell yourself. Like I said, the universe don't know if it's a lie or the truth. It's going to go with based off what you're saying and how you're feeling. And the majority of your thoughts is that you are X, Y, Z. Guess how it's going to play out. You can't ask for silver. I'm sorry, you can't ask for gold and be mad when you get silver. You asked for gold. You literally ask for gold. I mean, you ask for gold. Excuse me, I'm fucked it all up. <laughs> See, I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. You wanted gold, but you asked for silver. And you got silver, and now you mad. No. You want gold, ask for gold. You're going to get gold. That's how it goes. Anyway, I'm about to get off. Hold this up, somebody. There. Remember, stop lying to yourself. You are what you say you are. So if you want to be great, just say you're great. And start living in it. That's the number one thing. Start living in it. I want you to all come true, little by little. Hold this up, somebody. Tell you this your favorite cousin. Y'all be safe. Love and blessings.